Hello everyone. From this video, we are going to start the Annex Assembly module. And if you have missed my last playlist, which was regarding the Annex Synchronous Modeling, you can watch those videos which contains the information regarding the Synchronous Modeling. I will attach the link here so that you can directly jump to that playlist. So let's start with Assembly here. So first you have to just open the Annex, then just go to New, and here you will get the option for model and there you have to just go to model and then just go to assembly and here make sure to choose the desired units whether you want to make the assembly in mm or inches so once you have selected your desired units then just name the assembly here and then just give the location then click on ok so you will get to the assembly interface now it will open a window like it is asking you for parts to assemble so here we have the part to add you can just open from here like here and then just go to the location i'm just going to call a part here so let's call this i'm just going to click on ok now this is the first part which i want to have and here you can see this is select or drag object so I can just select this object and here we have the action of move. So I'm just going to move this like this. So this is how we can just move the part. Just select this and then drag this. Just select this and then just drag this. So this is how we can use these options. And this is about the keep constraints. So constraints are a different topic in assembly. We will definitely cover this option as well but in the later videos so this is just an introduction regarding how we can create the assembly and how we can call the parts then just click on ok and then just go to assemblies here and here you will get the assembly navigator if i just uh, drag this here and here we have the bounded plane which is this one this part's name is bounded plane so if i want to add some more just click on add component and here i'm just going to open a new component here which is going to be the edit cross section and make sure i'm just going to use here absolute displayed part and then you can just uh, drag this like this so this is how we can just move this or we can give the constraints as well that what kind of constraint you want to give it to this part so i'm just going to keep it as move here only and then just click on ok so in this video, we have learned about how we can create the assembly, how we can use the option of assemble, then how we can use the option of add component. So as simple as that, just click on add component and then you have to just uh, click on this folder like icon, then just uh, open the part which you want to call and make sure to use the component anchor as absolute and assembly location as assembly displayed part and then you can just give the constraint so that there would be no confusion left for how to place the component in the assembly so that is all regarding these three options first is how to create the assembly file how to use the assemble and how to add the component so that is all in this video we will continue this session in the later videos till then thank you so much and if you have learned something new from this video Make sure to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.